Oh no. Hi everyone, in today's video I am going to do a plant swap and I am expecting some plant mail. It should be delivering later today and I will show the unboxing of that. I am doing a plant swap on Instagram. She messaged me when I posted my Monstera Standialana. She has the variegated Monstera Standialana, so the one with white variegation in it and she just wanted the regular one because she can't find it anywhere. And I have been looking for a variegated version so it was perfect. I'll be giving her this cutting. It's actually one large cutting with that leaf is going to unfurl. And then there's like a couple other cuttings that I'll be giving her. These two smaller ones down here. It's a total of three cuttings that are in here. Some are rooted. The larger one is unrooted. But I will be shipping this to her in sphagnum moss and I'm shipping it out today so I can show my packaging of that. Also as of today on August 5th my giveaway is live. My first giveaway for my one year on Instagram. So if you go to my Instagram and you find this photo it is the cutting that you will receive of a variegated monstera. There's the mother plant up there. That's my baby. This is the cutting I'll be giving away so if you follow the rules on here and go to my last video that's called Variegated Monstera Giveaway, then you can enter from there. The giveaway is going to close in two weeks, so it's going to close on August 19th. So get your entries in if you want to win that. Good luck! I just wrapped up her plant in a, a Ziploc baggie, and then inside is some moist sphagnum moss. And then I taped it around with medical tape because I use medical tape for everything. Luckily, one of my roommates just ordered something from Amazon, so I have the perfect size box for it. So I'm going to be reusing that and then I also have this packaging so it won't get squished. Look how perfect that is. I'm going to tape the bag down so it doesn't hurt the plant and I'll show you in a second. So I think that is pretty secure and then I'm just reusing packaging. Leaves don't get smushed. I put the leaves all flat and then I put this on top so it's kind of loosely over it and I just remembered now that every single time I send plant mail I don't have a note so I need to write a note and it's going to be on a post-it note probably because I still have yet to get any cute notes. I really need to step my game up with that one. I'm going to write her a note and drop this off at the post office. So now we are on the way to the post office and I have the package right here. I just write fragile all over it and I wrote protect from heat although they probably won't read that. So I'm going to go drop it off right now and then I'll include when she sends off her package and I receive it so I'll open that in this video as well I'm still waiting on my other plant mail to come so hopefully that doesn't stay out in the heat all day because it's been pretty hot lately we just got back from furniture shopping. That's what we do for fun now. I got a really cute thing from Home Goods that I will show later, but I just picked up the plant mail right here. This is one of the plants that I actually didn't like at first for some reason. Now I really like it, obviously. That's why I have it. Oh no. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so I thought I just messed up because I was opening it with a key and it says thank you right here and I thought this was the leaf and I thought I broke the leaf but it's actually a piece of paper. So it just says thank you. It's packaged a little bit differently this time. This is from the Etsy seller Dirty Roots MA. Oh my gosh, it's a little cutie. Hang on. It's taped in. I'm trying so hard not to get this stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So here it is. It's just in tissue paper. I already see it peeking out. So I got this baby one. Look how cute! It's such a little cutie! <laughs> so this is a Rapidophora tetrasperma and it has another leaf unfurling here. I hope it did okay in the mail because it looks a little discolored. I don't know, it might have been shocked. It is in some sphagnum moss. Look at it! So I got this for $8 and it was $8 for shipping as well, so $16 total. I hope that other leaf is okay. I'm not sure. You can see there. How long did it? I think it shipped out on Saturday. Today is Monday. Can you give me scissors, Beth? I think it's in the basket over there. Basket? Right there? That basket? That basket? There's like three baskets. You went for one that's not a basket. <laughs> This is a basket. This is a basket. Do you think it would be in the clothes basket, babe? Come on. Thank you. The roots are looking good. There's no rot or anything. 
So what I'm going to do is stick this one in Lekka ASAP. I need to slow my roll when it comes to plants because actually I already paid for another bucket list plant and that one is going to come in September but I'm not going to talk about what it is yet. Yeah, these roots definitely need some water so I'm going to stick this one in Lekka. I just set them up in some Lekka and it's in this pot. This is the only colored pot that I have. Everything else is like white and neutral but it just looks so cute because I like this trimming and it's just the one leaf so it looks a little bit awkward for now but I think it's a fast grower so I'm just gonna set it right here next to most of my plants and hopefully and this is the beautiful side table that I got from home goods it's gonna go in our new home and I actually found one like this a few weeks back but then it was broken and I found another one today that was in perfect condition so it's made of wood it's hand carved and it's so pretty the decor style that I'm gonna do in my new place is pretty similar to how I had my apartment but I did sell a lot of the furniture that I had in my old place so here's a close-up of it. And for now, I'm gonna put the Monstera Deliciosa on top of this out in the living room. So we were too lazy to go to our real gym today, so we're at an apartment gym, and this is our first time coming here. To be honest, I don't like it too much, but they do have free weights. So I'm just doing a light shoulder day and arms. So I thought I would just throw in some clips of that because I have gotten some requests on my Instagram asking me about what I do for my workouts and I like to lift weights. I hardly ever do cardio, but when I do cardio, it is either something like hiking or high intensity on the Stairmaster. And now it's time for an awkward voiceover. So right here I am doing overhead presses for my shoulders and I'm using 20 pound dumbbells. I do three sets of 12 on lighter days and I kind of prefer to do that now. I used to lift heavier than I do now, but I go through phases of wanting to lift heavy and I wanted to do more reps. Here I am doing some lateral raises and I'm using a 15 pound dumbbell. Again, three sets of 12. And I like to superset a lot. I don't like to rest too much when it comes to shoulder and arm day. I'm supersetting that with a rear delt exercise right now. This is still working on shoulders right here. And again, three sets of 12, and I'm just using a 15 pound dumbbell. Let me know if this is the kind of thing you are interested in, or if you never ever want me to do this again. I've been lifting since 2012, and since then I figured out what I like and what I don't like, so that's what I do mostly at the gym. And I have three split days. One is shoulders and arms, one is legs, and one is back. This is just some bicep curls. I'm using a 15 pound dumbbell again. I try my best to not swing forward. If you swing the weight up, you're not really working on your bicep. And again, that was three sets of 12. And now I'm working on my triceps. So I am holding a 30 pound dumbbell here. I just do three sets of 12 again for this one. That's not my entire workout. So every time I go to the gym, I kind of have a set routine in my head. Sometimes I switch it up. So that was just a snippet of my workout, but right after I'm done filming, of course, the lighting gets better. I'm not able to control the lighting in here, so sorry about that. But so I just got home. I'm not even gonna change because I am now running out of sunlight, but I got my mail and I'm gonna open it now. I'm so excited. I say that for about every single package, but plant mail is very exciting. This is a lot of tape. Very secure. We did the same thing with the post-it note, so I find that kind of funny. It's in here. Hmm. Okay, so it was just in here with a lot of tissues. Um, maybe it's going to perk up with the being in water. It's a little floppy because it, it doesn't have like sphagnum or anything like that. Um, yeah, let's hope this one makes it. <laughs> So this plant is pretty floppy. Um, this leaf is just kind of broken. This is the variegated Stendiolana, and it's, I just hope it makes it, because it was in the mail for a few days and it didn't have any like moisture. I don't know, we'll see if this one pulls through. 
And I feel like these are sad plant updates, but for this Raphidophora, this leaf is still going strong. So I think it's just going to pull through just fine. Just the new leaf is dying off. It's probably just because it was new and it was sent in the mail, but... It'll probably grow another one because this leaf is fine. The roots are good. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.